All right, guys, how is it going? I hope you guys are doing well. I've been feeling a little bit of a lull lately in raid. I don't know what it is. I just I haven't felt motivated to really do any type of raid content. I've been working on my other channels. I don't want to talk about that, but I want you guys I want you guys to know what I've been doing. Right. So we've had some some real life shit going on um, with, with family and everything, but it's all good shit. All right. It's all good shit. So nothing bad is going on. Uh, it's all good shit. But um, in terms of like me doing raid, I, I I don't know, guys. Like I just I haven't really I haven't been feeling it. I haven't I have not felt motivated to really do anything in raid Shadow Legends, and I, I don't know what it is. I've been I'm coming up on six years in the game, and um, like I, I still love the game, but with everything that's that's happened so far in raid. I, it's been leaving a bad taste in my mouth. I haven't even been, I, I like, I'm, I've been missing my dailies. I've been missing my dailies. That's how big it is. Like, I don't usually miss my dailies. I don't usually miss my advanced quest, but I've been missing it. But enough about that. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on where I've been because I know there's a, a very loyal community uh, of you guys here. But let's, let's, let's bring this back in. Let's reel it back in. This is going to be a relatively long one. So, uh, just you know know that if you, if you want to skip ahead to certain parts go ahead and do that if you want to get a cup of coffee or you know a tea or get something to eat this is probably going to take some while i'm not going to edit too much on this unless i say something really fucking stupid but the purpose of me doing this specific video is because i wanted to rework razzlevarg now this is my current build i was using razzlevarg in a relentless set and he's been doing a tremendous amount of work for me in hydra and the issue with Relentless, why I took him out of Relentless, is because Relentless... Oh, what is this? How did... Hold on, I haven't gear cleansed in a bit. Hold on, wait a second. Let me get rid of you guys here. What are you doing here? What are you doing? You're not supposed to be here. See, I haven't even gear cleansed in a long time. That's how crazy... Um, that's, that's like, I just haven't been playing. I haven't even gear cleansed in a long time. That's crazy. Look at all that. All right, goodbye, Pinpoint. That's not up to par with my standards. Get out of here. That's a quick one right there. All right. So when it comes to relentless gear, wow, I'm, I'm approaching. You know, <laughs> anyway, when it comes to relentless, you get an 18% chance to take an extra turn. Consecutive chances reduced by 45% every time. But when it comes to Hydra, because turn counts are limited to a thousand now, uh, it was it was at 1500 before. If you didn't know about it and you're new and you're watching this later on in the future, but it's at 1000 now meaning every turn kind of counts a lot more it has more weight to it than before and because of that we want to stop ourselves from trying to use relentless so much it's still a good set but this is this is his speed and attack right now he's at 56,000 attack um 234 speed and 304 crit damage 100 percent crit rate and um it's in lethal set, so you're ignoring 25% of the enemy defense. His damage is based off of attack and speed, right? So I was actually curious about how his speed is calculated. I'm not a big brain guy. I pretty much copy what every other content creator does, and, that, and then I just talk about it in my own way. But Daithi Raids, Mr. Big Brain over here, shout out to Daithi Raids. I said I would uh, give him credit here, so credit where credit is due. I'm going to read it. So his damage calculated is attack times 1.5 plus the speed divided by 100, right? So 1.5 plus whatever his total speed is, and then you divide this by 100, which means most of his scaling is coming from attack, but his multiplier comes from speed. Generally, build them with 300 plus speed so that in Hydra fights, that becomes 400% plus speed in case you're wondering how that works each increased speed that he places and by the way he places increased speed with his a3 and this happens quite often increases the champion speed by five up to 100 so after a few turns after you know some several turns razzlevarg is going to be going 100 points faster than he was before which also equals more damage 400 speed increased speed comes 600 speed because he's also got the um the buff itself so it's not only placing the buff that gives him plus 400 it's also the act of having the buff on him the 50 percent increase the speed where it becomes 600 plus speed it's crazy he's saying you could build him with more attack but if you build him with more speed because his multiplier is his speed 
right? 300 and we plus three right here as opposed to the plus 2.34, which is what my Razzlevarg is at right now. The point difference, the point damage output is a lot higher. It's, it's relatively higher, right? This is not um, a small difference, right? 21.9 versus 22.5, right? Everything matters. So he would go more often and do more damage and scale better. Big brain moves here. So thank you to Diet the Rates for pointing that out. The other thing is I would add a four piece Slayer minimum saying that it's a must so that he gets the 20% refills on all his turns on Hydra waves, meaning more turns. He went through a lot of his damage and scaling here. What we're going to do is see if we can get 300 plus speed on Razzlevarg with Slayer minimum, right? So we're looking, I'm going to unlock everything here just to see. We're to see 300 minimum, of course, 100% crit rate. And when it's when it comes to crit damage, now keep in mind my Slayer gear isn't that good. So I'm gonna put these, but these are my wishful thinking stats, right? These are my wishful thinking stats. These are normally the stats that I put on for nukers, except for the speed. The speed is really pushing it. Let's try to get a minimum of six and then see if anything pops up. We're not taking Thor gear so if there's any thor gear on there it's not coming off okay after moving around a little bit i was able to find something that could potentially work but it's only at 282 speed with 234 crit damage i had to lower everything in and then 5442 attack we're going with this team here and it's going to be on brutal so we're going to go in brutal this is the team and while this is running i wanted to also kind of take a look at and i'm going to let it run on auto because that's just how i run everything nowadays i don't uh whatever happens happens I, I don't care too much about hydra anymore like i still enjoy it when there's fun champions but with everything that's been happening with hydra i just i haven't been really i haven't, I haven't i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling it you know what i mean so dithy raids i just clicked on his channel and we brought him up over here so again big shout out to dithy raids uh, I've never seen these videos before, but let's go ahead and, and review these together and let's give him a like, let's give him that sub, right? We want to support other content creators. So we're going to let this, this run, see how far it goes, maybe even stop it a little earlier and then do a damage comparison between that and the new build after this. But let's go ahead and see what Daithi, uh, raids. We're going to, we're going to move around a bit because we're, we're, if I watch like the entire 26 minutes and then plus the, the 16 minutes here that I want to see. It's going to take too long, so I'm going to edit through everything, but let's see what he has to say here. Welcome to Dahi Raids. Today we're going to be talking about building Razzleberg Holy shit! And how to best... Bro! He's got a sick fucking accent, dude. That's cute. That's cool as shit, dude. Build him for best effect. So there's a couple of different philosophies you can go for, but he's basically all about speed and going quick and often. So with him here, let's have a look at this. All right, hold on. Is it a, is it a Scottish accent? I could be wrong. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but it sounds, is it Scottish? It, it's cool. I like that accent. And um, he has two A2s. Two A2s. No, he doesn't. That's a lie. He has two AOE attacks. <laughs> his A A2 and his A3 places. Okay. So I'm gonna stop him here, not because I don't want to. I don't want to support him, but because we already know what this kit does. This is my build. I have him a nine-piece Slayer set, and I think this he's got two reds over here. Check that out. And a six-star plus one Razzlebarg. Fucking sick. And I'm pretty sure it's a Scottish accent. Because I played a game called um, Still Wakes the Deep. It's a Scottish horror game. And it was really fun. I played it on my other channel. And one of my first trips out of the United States of fucking America was to Scotland. I went to Edinburgh. It was pretty nice. And uh, I remember this uh, drunk Scotsman came up to me. And he was just so happy to see me. He was so welcoming. And his wife had to pull him away from me. Because I was just like, I, man, I know. I, I told him this too. I was like. Man, I know you're speaking English, but I don't know what you're saying. And I, I really want to know what you're saying, but I just don't because his accent was so thick. But Scottish people, man, some of the friendliest people I've ever fucking met. The Slayer set is the best for him mm -hmm. because Razzlevarg is all about going fast mm -hmm. and going often. Okay. Why is Slayer good for him then? For this set bonus, four pieces, 
fills this champion's turn meter by 5% per the first hit on each enemy from AoE attacks. Okay. So Hydra, Waves, um, Spider, um, anywhere where you're hitting multiple enemies. So Hydra's probably the least or whatever. Um, but on an AoE attack, he's getting 20% of his turn meter filled back already. And he's already quite fast champion and his speed is increasing over time mm -hmm. and he has increased speed on yeah. him as well so he's going to be chomping through I'm, I'm trying i'm trying to see if he's going to talk about if this because this this part is and i think um martin somebody who comments on my channel quite often uh even asked me this too and i was kind of like oh shit, i don't know bro but like this turn meter fill again i want to see if he's going to talk about this does this happen only on the first hit when the hydra heads are out and does it reset after the hydra heads are decapitated and then come back when it comes to slayer gear it you you can get it from the forge but the artifacts or the the accessories can only come from the forge pass or from specific deck of fate uh deck of fate events that like the, the last one we did there were accessories in there and that's part of why i went for that deck of fates because i really needed slayer gear and i'm not going to pay for a forge pass anymore i'm just not going to pay polarium anymore right and that's why it's it's so hard if you ever see content creators talking about like trying to scrape by for a certain uh gear uh, uh, unless you're somebody like scratch who's just a, a kraken um you're, you're not going to have the capability to you know get the best of the best slayer gear and a lot of the best gear comes from forge pass right you're talking instinct uh fucking slayer gear so yeah but he was able to bang out a nine piece that's pretty cool uh he was probably re probably really smart about keeping rare pieces just to make it happen me i, I don't i'm a little dumb when it comes to that but I'm, I'm very it's it's not so much about me wanting to be optimal it's more about me and my need to have things a certain way that makes me sell gear the way that I do and manage my gear the way that I do. But definitely, you're going to want to do things the way that he does. So, Slayer set is going to be the most optimal set for Razzlevarg. Two AoEs. He's going fast. It's got the built-in speed, damage, stats, all of that. Plus the bonus damage when you get a 9-piece set in. Ignore defense when you get uh, his A2 and his A3. His A1 does suffer, just like Daithi says here. But uh, I agree with him. If you can swing a Slayer set, get a Slayer set on him. If you can't, then you can obviously uh, settle for the other damage um, sets. Just make sure you're trying to make him go fast. I fully believe everything he's he's saying here, and he's about to drop into the maths here. If you're trying to balance speed and attack, one of them's going to have to come up as the other comes down, generally. Yeah, something's got to give. You can't have everything all the time. Um, at least I can't in my life, unfortunately. But, uh, so I started with, it's the exact same thing as I have written, but they don't have the columns in. So it's his attack multiplied by his speed divided by 100 plus 1.5. So if his speed is 200, it'll be 200 divided by 100 plus 1.5. So that's 2 plus 1.5, which is 3.5 multiplied by his attack. So let's say his attack was 1000 just to, for illustration purposes if his attack was 1000 in that case it'd be 3.5 multiplied by 1000 so his, his output would be three and a half thousand i had kind of the different balances going down with attack coming up and speed going down i like this because it also breaks down the um results that you get from max speed boots if you have increased speed on him results with increased attack because obviously you're going to go into a hydra fight with increased attack as well as here with the increased speed buff and the increased attack buff it shows all these points this is my build or was my build at the time of building that and you can see i kind of went five and a half thousand and three hundred speed now that doesn't necessarily have to be yours because if you look down here, if you even go 250 speed and higher attack, you're going to have more mm. than what I had here. Oh. For illustration purposes, I'm including everything on there. 
so um like obviously you're gonna have locked champions and yeah various um when it comes to and i just want to uh, stop him here real quick when, when it comes to building your own champions it's good to look at content creators and see whatever um somebody is sharing on the internet but remember guys you should always kind of like take it for a grain of salt and then refer it to your own account scale it to your own account right so if you're seeing for an example like oh this guy's got 5600 attack 317 speed and 300 percent crit damage i can't achieve that fuck this guy well no calm down like daddy chill that's not even you scale it to your account scale it to what's available to your account right you're looking at burrito's build for razzlefar and you're like oh he's in a lethal set I, uh, fuck this guy he's got lethal on like dude it's not that hard right do a little bit of thinking but at least you have an idea of what stats to prioritize and what sets to prioritize right it almost makes me want to look at my slayer gear again and say okay well, well can i can i boost the attack here to like 6000 and then maybe drop the speed to like 260 or something but at the same time i know i'm going to enchant and boost with ascension gear so our ascension oils and shit dust and oil no diddy we have a little bit of a comparison going on here i'm going to shout out Mr. Burrito Slayer. Hey. So I was checking out his videos and he was doing a Tor Razzlevarg comparison. And that kind of inspired me to check it out myself. Hell yeah. I'm quite proud of my Razzlevarg build <laughs> and, and Razzlevarg as a champion himself. Um, and I'm, I'm very much a, a pusher of Razzlevarg as one of the best champions in the game. I feel like there's a, there's a connection sort of like a community connection whenever like one content creator uh either reacts to another content creator or another content creator does their own version of something else another creator did like that's a good thing so again shout out to Daithi. did i did i like this video there you go and if you haven't hit the sub button hit that sub button did and it when he checked it out with his uh build he had both on the same team it came out tore absolutely stomping Razzlevarg. Yeah. Okay, so I was kind of like, wow, you know, I wonder, you know, I'll check out my build, see what way it goes there. So this is kind of a story in four pictures, and then we'll go through the builds at the end as well. Okay. We have Tor here, and we have Tor in a we have we have tor in this team so this team is kind of standardized okay it's similar ish to a team that i use quite frequently um and is very stable for a full auto hydra experience and that's kind of what i've done here as well as i've full auto this so all of them are compared across a full auto run so i was thinking right well if he's doing that razzlevarg in my build is going to do much better so I have my Razzlevarg build here. And this is the run that I did with Razzlevarg. Okay, so 58. So okay, so he took out Thor and put in Razzlevarg. And Razzlevarg did uh, 58 as opposed to Thor's 101. Exact same team. Razzlevarg is fully ascended. So a six star blessing with crushing rain. Yeah. And he's plus one. And he only did 58 million. He's all and, that, and that's really saying something, right? Again, again, I've I just can't stop making videos about Thor. But that really says something, right? We have a fully blessed plus one crushing rend Razovarg, who is to the nines with the gear, versus his Thor, who wasn't six star. I, I don't know what his Thor build is, but you see what I mean? Like that's an astronomical difference also in nine piece slayer he also has 300 plus speed so i was like wow i was blown away i was absolutely blown away so then i kind of thought to myself however then i said uh maybe let's try and look at what burrito slayer was doing yeah. and run them on the same team because i noticed when i was going through the builds for these that i have a lot of backups so necmo uh, Lydia, Uko, and Teela are providing a lot of the same thing across the board. So I said I can take out one of these. So we removed Teela and put Tor in and ran them together. 
Yeah, that's insane. Again, Thor pretty consistent with the 101 million, almost 102 million this time. Razovar doing about 4 million more. Uh, and yeah, that's crazy. And we have 234 million damage. Still on hard, still the same. Hit the turn limit. Team. Uh, but we have bolted them in now. Teal are removed. Every, everything else remains the same. So fantastic. But again, we notice Razzlevarg is almost 40% shy of Tor. Just about, yeah. And then I went, hold on a second. Oh. You've changed your team from what you used to have. You've no increased attack on here. And I took off my increased attack champion because I was thinking to myself, That's true. I needed a uh, healing for okay. Tor and for the rest. All right, hold on. Let him cook. Let him cook. To the team. So I wanted the leech and the. the a uh, continuous heal on from okay. Tila, that's why I had her. Then I realized Nekmo had it. Then I realized Razzlevark has leech as well. So I kind of went- Yeah, cause cause Thor self buffs, right? But there's nobody in here giving Razzlevark that increased attack. Hmm. Hmm. What else can I do? So I made another change. Okay. That meant I have increased attack okay. on the team as well. So Razzlevark is getting buffed as well as Thor, because remember Thor is bringing Increased attack and increased crit damage. Yes, himself. sir. So he's buffing himself the whole time. And Razzlevarg wasn't getting that. So I ran another turn. By the way, I haven't used any of my keys yet for Hydra this week. There it is. And I have run Hydra, I think, five, six, seven, yeah. I think eight. And and he's, he's about to say it, but it was something else that I was going to bring up too. Like whenever we do these versus series where we have to like do damage comparisons between Hydra things, like these things take a lot of time, guys. Even if we're not really there, we're still kind of waiting in an hour every run. Every run takes about an hour, right, to do. So it's like, yeah, we're not really sitting there, sitting there doing it. But at the same time, it still takes fucking time, right? And almost almost an hour. But check this out, guys. With increased attack that he got from, I'm assuming, this mythical champion here, Lazarius, increased attack gave Razzlevark a significant boost to the point where there is only a 10 million difference in damage output versus um, Thor versus Razzlevark. Now, Thor still did come out on top, but the gap has been significantly closed, and that's what we want to look at here. Razzlevark was able to almost pretty much keep up with Thor, right? It was the same thing in my Thor versus Trunda video where i was like all right yeah you know what trunda and this is pre-nerf hydra right i think it was pre-nerf i can't remember trunda did about 100 million more than thor but again trunda's just fucking broken as shit now thor was still able to somewhat keep up and that's saying something right because we hear it all the time thor is a fucking god right literally and his damage shows it. The only one who was able to do more than him is Trunda, and that's because her shit was broken. And then, you know, they pretty much killed Trunda. But I've been seeing in Nightmare, she's still doing bonker damage, but the team doesn't look exactly easy to obtain. And there are certain champions there that are kind of key for that thing to happen. So, you know, I'm going to back off here and let Daithi finish his thoughts here. Eight times so far. So uh, I hope you guys appreciate this. Like and subscribe. Mm. Um, so we have our final run here. We have 320 million up from our previous uh, one of 230 million. It did also go the 100 turns or the 1000 turns rather. But you can see we took out Uko and put Lazarius in. And left him in form one so that he would boost speed boost us and give us um a what what do we what do we call it uh, increased attack he'd give increased attack on everybody and he would also supply the block debuffs and the, the cleanse and all the rest of it so i thought he was a great substitution there and look at what that does to the scores. What is it? Nature's Wrath. What's the point of having Heaven's Heaven's Cast anymore? Like, I feel like Nature's Wrath pretty much killed Heaven Cast. Thor is just insane, right? Thor versus Hydra is not fair. Because look at this. Fully blessed. Plus one. And still getting rocked by, by Thor. Thor is in Merc and Cruel for that 40% ignore defense. Okay. Wow. 7.5, 7.5 K attack. 
And looking at this, we're about 16 and a half minutes in. Razzlevarg did about 14 million in his current setup. RNG wasn't the best, but we're not going to keep that. We're going to rebuild Razzlevarg here, and we're going to put this on him, okay? This uh, Slayer setup. So we're going to click, oh, where is it? We're going to click equip. All right. And we're going to click that. Yeah, we're going to take that free removal that's about to expire. And we're just going to click equip. Now what we can do is bump this up. Boost his um, speed here a little bit. Give me that five. We'll take a three. We'll settle for a three. Give me the eight. Oh, we got a perfect date. Resistance. Why not? Take it. And then let's see what we get here. For the ascension, we get defense. That's okay. We'll, we'll take the defense. And um, speed, we're gonna try to pump this in. Give me a fiver. That's a four, we'll take four. Get that four. Bring this defense up. Of course, I feel like there needs to be a mercy system for glyphs because it's ridiculous sometimes. You can go like 10 glyphs in and just not land anything. Double flat attack, but you know what? We're okay with it. We've got a little bit here. We'll boost that up to the second tier. Let's, let's keep it even. We're gonna boost it up to the second tier here. I think my lethal gear was ascended quite a bit as well. So let's boost this up here to the second star. Give him some attack here. Or, I mean, speed, which basically means the same thing. Let's upgrade this to 16. We'll take it. And then HP, we'll give him a little extra HP here. 375. Now, crit rate on the glove with Swift Parry. What can we get? More crit rate. Oof. Meaning we're going to have to rebuild them again later, but we're not going to do it now. We have attack percent with HP percent on the Slayer. Triple speed, speed on speed with the Slayer gear. Let's go ahead and bump some more uh, HP onto him. And wow, four. Thank you so much. Let's get this here. 34 extra attack, some resistance. We're going to get a little fiver there. Can we get a 10? We can get a 10. Hey, they heard my... They heard my call. Give me 475. Can we get 475? They give us 275. What about more in the back? What about more in the back? Can we get 375? We'll set up a 375. Let's go here. And this is already ascended pretty well. We want to switch this to crit damage. Let's see if we can rework this. Crit damage. That's attack. And we're going to have to settle for attack for now. Until I run more Phantom Shogun. Phantom Fan Shimantum Fogun. Phantom Shogun. So... Again, he is in six pieces of Slayer gear, getting ignore enemy defense. I would ideally like to get nine pieces in, but it's just not happening because I do not have the... Unless... Can I... No, I don't. I can't because I don't have a, a ring. I don't have a Slayer ring here. And we do need some speed from there. However... What if we rock a three here? A triple? Triple speed. We got a double speed. Hold on. Hold on. That's a four. Is this... Is this meant to be? Oh, we can get even faster with the Slayer. Okay. And that gives us actually extra crit rate, does it? Oh, crit damage. We'll take that. We'll take that. Definitely taking that. Let's max this out right now. Because we got some extra speed on it. Get the ascension in and we got extra defense we'll take the extra defense we'll take um these glyphs too put those glyphs in that's a two we'll settle for a four can you give us a four you give us a five then we'll take the five 40 that's fine and then attack give us an eight we want that seven though we'll take the seven though all right so in hydro right now after we ascended after we enchanted a bit, we're now looking at 5.3k attack, 314 speed, 258 crit damage, 273 um, accuracy, and then don't forget he self buffs. We're in Nature's Wrath for the Blessing, and these are the Masteries. As always, do not blindly copy Masteries, but go ahead and feel free to blindly copy Masteries. We have the Counterattack Masteries along with Helm Smasher, trying to do as much as possible, doing the most here with Nature's Wrath on top of that every time he places a debuff, which he does quite often with his Leech. He's going to get a boost. He's going to get a boost to damage. And we're going to go into Brutal again. Same team. But now, Razzlevarg's gear has been 
shifted up. Uh, so remember in his last run, he was doing like 13, 14 mil. So I'm gonna let this run about 16 minutes and 24 seconds and then I'm gonna uh, let it end and see where we're at there. I, f I feel like that's the best way to go about doing this. All right, check this out. We're about to end this here. 22, 23, let's end it right here. 24, all right. So six minutes, 23 seconds, not six minutes and 24 seconds, but check this out. Razzle Varg did 23 million. Compare that to the 14 million that we did on Brutal um, last time with the Lethal Gear on and 16 minutes and 23 seconds. There's a, a significant difference, I think. I don't even like the boss, but my baby got so hard to. She ain't playing with you hoes.